Are you single and ready to mingle? Join our singles party. How old are you and what do you do for a living? I'm uh, 38 and I work as a security guard. I am 43 and I am an educator. Awesome. Uh, Damon? I am 25 and I am a teacher for Kansas State University. Awesome. Yes, I'm a 34 and I'm a logistics coordinator. I'm 38 and I'm a consultant for a real estate developer. Awesome. Uh, Bruce? I'm 69 and I'm retired. Awesome. And Sheree? 36 and I'm a school psychologist. Awesome. All right, everyone. So we're just going to move on to the first official questions. What are you currently looking for? New friends to date someone new, a long-term relationship. What are you currently looking for? All right. And I will start with you, Sheree. What are you currently looking for? I'm currently looking for a long-term relationship. Ultimate goal is marriage, but long-term committed relationship for now. Awesome. Uh, Bruce? I'm looking for a friend or a long-term relationship. Charles? Uh, I'm looking for a genuine connection. Uh, no expectations. Awesome. Uh, Robert? Yeah, same concept. I'm just looking for a uh, dating slash long-term relationship. Awesome. Uh, Damon? A long-term relationship with the goal of marriage. Awesome. Uh, Latanya? Yep, same. Long-term relationship, uh, eventually ending in marriage. Awesome. Uh, Power? Uh, long-term relationship, but... Uh... And friend. Awesome. And John. Uh, I'm looking for something uh, like a relationship or see where it goes. Maybe something long term. Maybe get the rock. Who knows? I don't know. But uh, see how it goes. I uh, just, uh, you know, it's totally different. Not like it used to be uh, nowadays, you know, so back in the day. For sure. Awesome. All right, everyone. Thank you for answering that question. The next question up is, do you have children? All right. Do you have children? So I will start with you, John. Do you have children? No, I do not. All right. Would you like children in the future? Yes, I would. Uh, awesome. It doesn't, it doesn't matter how many. It could be one to whatever. Long, long as it's healthy. That's all that matters. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, power. Same question for you. Do you have children? No, I don't. All right. Would you like children in the future? Yes, yeah, sure. All right. LaTanya, same question for you. I do have children. I actually have one grandchild. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And, and uh, <laughs> I am 43. I will be open to the discussion. <laughs> really? That's awesome. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Uh, Damon, same question for you would be open to kids. Um, I do have a dog though, if that counts. I don't have any kids at the moment, but I would be open to having kids. Um, I would actually love to have kids actually. I do have a dog at the moment though, if that counts. Awesome, okay, awesome, awesome. Uh, Robert? Yeah, same thing. I, I'm open to children, but I'm not sure, sure as, as of yet right now. Awesome, uh, Charles? Yeah, I have a six-year-old daughter, but uh, I am open to more children in the future. Awesome. Uh, Bruce? Yes, I have six children. They're all grown up, and I would be open to somebody with children. Awesome. And Sheree? I do not have any children. Um, I'm currently on the fence, but open to it with the right person. All right. Why do you think you're single, all right? Why do you think you're single? And I would start with you, Sheree. <laughs> um, well, I got out of my last relationship about a year ago, almost a year ago. Um, just realized that we weren't compatible in a number of ways. And it was really hard walking away from that relationship, but it was the right thing to do. So no regrets there. Um, it just really helped me figure out more of what I wanted, what I didn't want, more of what I needed in a relationship and long-term partner. Um, and so I've just gotten back in, out into the dating world a few months ago, and it's been really interesting. Um, but it's just been hard to find people who also want 
long-term relationships and something more serious, something more substantial. There's a lot of casual dating and... My name is Tamara and I own Luxury Events Travel here in Northwest Arkansas. Whether you're looking for a trip for a group of friends or maybe even a solo adventure, there are so many possibilities. What do you truly enjoy? Ideal and experiences. We work together to plan either the relaxing vacation that you've been envisioning or something maybe a lot more adventurous. I have access to hundreds of suppliers worldwide and whatever you can dream up, we can make it reality. Thank you. Very much living now in a hookup culture and that's not really what I'm into. So I think that's why it's been hard and that's the main reason why I've been single. All right, thank you, Sheree. Uh, Bruce, same question for you. Why do you think you're single? Well, uh, my wife died about a year and a half ago, and I just haven't met anybody since then. All right. Sorry to hear about that. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, Charles? Uh, yeah, I think just working full time and uh, being a single dad of a six year old, I just haven't prioritized dating. So uh, that's pretty much it. Awesome. Uh, Robert? Yeah, so a couple of explanations here. So I, I feel like Dallas is more um, kind of clickish in a way. So it's it's hard for me to find a short-term or long-term relationship because of the fact that, you know, kind of like going back to the what uh, uh, Sheree was saying, it's more like uh, finding like a genuine, consistent, like authentic relationship rather than just kind of like uh, getting to know somebody and then they just ghost you or like they just leave you or like they're not compatible, right? So in that kind of sense, it's kind of hard, arduous for uh, anyone, not just me, to find the relationship because um, most of the time, it's usually a time issue or the communication issue or the compatibility issue. Awesome. All right. Thank you, Robert. Uh, Damon? So I'm a PhD student, so I've devoted a lot of time to grad school and career. And when I have gone on, when I have dated it, they've not usually lasted very long because of what has been mentioned earlier, the compatibility issue. Um, so that's, I think, why I'm single. So I'm just, I'm now be actually taking it seriously for once. So. Awesome. All right. Uh, Latanya. Oh, I would say that I am single um, because of the values, the core values that I have, I'm definitely like not a slide through girl or I don't want to just hook up. I want meaningful connections in my life. And so um, being 43 or being in my early 40s, um, I don't, I'm not like a big clubber. Like that is not, <laughs> for me, it's not cute at my age. Um, so just in my regular day-to-day -day life, I don't know that I am really, exposing myself enough um, to get noticed or be noticed. Uh, it's not really a lot of social circles or um, activities that I've been involved in really to meet the, these quality mystical men wherever they are. <laughs> so I think I just haven't found, I don't know where, the, where they're hiding. So I haven't <laughs> found their hiding spot. Okay, you're looking for your unicorn. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> All right, uh, power. Uh, my girlfriend got married to another man, so I'm trying new trends. All right. All right. Uh, John? I feel like uh, the girls today are looking for a handout. They all they want, they get on the OnlyFans, they get on uh, the snaps, they get on, uh, they want this guy that doesn't exist, you know, waiting for the, the perfect guy. Meanwhile, they're skeletons and uh, just like, you know, it's kind of like what Robert Lee said and, uh, and uh, you know, focusing on yourself. And, uh, you know, I tried, you know, it's just uh, it's guy and girl. And I feel like there's a curse on me. That's uh, I don't know. I just. uh I just haven't found the right one. You know, I, 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 I don't know. It just hasn't happened. So, you know, that's about it. All right. All right. Thank you, John. And thank you, everyone. So we're just going to move on to the next question. This question's fun. All right. So the question up is, who is or was your biggest celebrity crush? All right. I'll ask again, who either is or was your biggest celebrity crush? All right. And I'll start with you, John. <laughs> I would have to say, uh, I don't know, like Paris Hilton or something when I was uh, 
when she was came out like reality show. Like, yeah, I still think she's hot. You know, I would definitely go for her, but I don't know. I would, that's that's who I would go for if I had the money. Awesome. Big money to take care of. Awesome. Uh, power. We yeah, got Awesome. Awesome. Latanya. Makai Pfeiffer for sure. Awesome. Uh Damon. Uh Emma Watson. I rem I remember I drove my best friend in high school to go see the Beauty and the Beast remake about three times so I could see her. Um, so that's my celebrity crush. Awesome. Uh Robert. Hey, I got two of them. I got uh Carmen Electra and uh, Megan Fox. Oh, wow. Okay. Those are interesting ones. <laughs> awesome. I love Megan Fox. I'm not going to lie. I love her. Okay. <laughs> uh, Charles? I'd say Jessica Alba. She's got it. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Sheree? Um, throughout, yeah, my younger years, like in my 20s, teens, 20s, I was really like obsessed with Matthew Lawrence. He was in Boy Meets Oh, World. yes. Yeah. Boy Meets World <laughs> and uh, Mrs. Doubtfire when he was younger. Um, but I just love all three of the Lawrence brothers in general. But uh, Matthew Lawrence was always my favorite. So still love him. He's great. Awesome. <laughs> okay, Bruce? Yeah. I can say Victoria uh, Principal from Dallas. Awesome. Awesome. All right, everyone. We're going to go on to the next question. All right. The next question up is, who do you admire most? All right. Who do you admire most? And I will start with you, John. Who do you admire most? Uh, let's, I don't know. Probably like uh, like a Brock Lesnar, Mike Tyson kind of, you know, kind of feel to it. You know, just, uh, you know, that's something I would model myself around if I uh, could, you know. Awesome. LaTanya? I have to go with my mom. She's like always been like a super has superpowers and like a superhero to me. Um, so I would say that I admire my mom the most. Awesome, uh, Damon. I would also have to say um, my my parents um, and a friend friend of mine, uh, Rob, who they all encourage me to um, try new things and to also go after my dreams. Awesome. Uh, Robert? So I got three characters. Of course, my uh, family lineage, uh, my mother, she's been the backbone uh, of supporting like uh, until, you know, from birth until now. So she's been like a lifeline, right? And a bloodline, right? And I also have two characters. I also like uh, Bruce Lee as, and, and I admire. And then also uh, Warren Buffett. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Charles? Uh, I would have to say my dad always been there for me and uh, is a great role model. So, pops. Awesome, uh, Bruce. Um, I'd say my parents, but also I like The Rock. Uh, Sheree. <laughs> I'd have to say my grandmother, my mom's mom. Um, she passed away about six years ago, but um, we always had a really close relationship. Um, I used to be in the church and you know, faithful. And we used to do that together. We used to sing songs together, read the Bible together. Um, I'm not so much religious now, but I just still have a lot of fond memories of that, of doing those things together. And she was just like everybody's grandma. She wasn't just like her actual grandchildren's uh, grandma. She was like a grandmother to everybody. She was just like that quintessential figure for a lot of kids around. Um, so I really admired her and uh, I miss her a lot. Awesome. Awesome. All right, everyone. So we're just going to move on to the next question. So the next question up is, what is your idea of a good date? Okay. What is your idea of a good date? And I will start with you, Sheree. He's got these questions first. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think there's like a lot of different versions of a good date, but I know like one common thread that I've had on on all the good dates that I've been on is just I don't want them to end. Um, I'm really enjoying the conversation. I'm enjoying, you know, just talking to the person, getting to know them. There's a good vibe going on. It feels natural. I feel like I can be myself because I feel like dating can be really performative these days. I feel like it, you know, 
you can be for, you know, for a lot of people and it has been for a long time, but um, a good date doesn't really matter what we're doing or where we are. We're just having a really good time. And I can't wait to see this person again. And I'm bummed when it's over and I'm excited to see them the next time. So that's one of the biggest markers for me for what a good date is. Awesome. I just like to go to Applebee's and have some conversation. Uh, maybe go to a movie. Awesome. Uh, let's see, Charles. Uh, yeah, I think for me, it's it's uh, yeah, going out to dinner and and uh, having good banter, conversation. Uh, maybe have a drink and and do something active. I always like to have something like whether it's shooting pool or axe throwing or something something uh, with some movement involved. Awesome, uh, Robert. Yeah, so this is kind of interesting. Uh, for me, um, it's different because depending on uh, who the individual is, whether if she's um, introverted or extroverted, that's how I determine like what kind of activities I, I will um, find, find out. But usually, um, like I like the ambience, kind of like outdoor setting. It could be any activity as long as uh, the weather is good, uh, the environment is good, and then the different activities. And then uh, kind of like what uh, Charles and then uh, Sherry was saying, like kind of going off of what they were saying, like, you know, the vibe has to be there, the movement has to be there in, in conjunction with uh, uh, compatibility, right? And for me, um, communication line, uh, strong, solid communication line is very important because if, if I'm doing most of the talking and the other party is not doing any much of the effort or not too much communication line, then it kind of feels awkward, you know? Awesome, thank you, Robert. Uh, Damon? dinner with a great conversation or something active probably mini golf axe throwing or something along those lines as long as it's great conversation and we both uh, are compatible and also we both enjoy enjoy taking a uh, giving joke uh, taking talking about jokes and whatnot that's a good date for me those are usually awesome. the best things i've been on awesome awesome uh latanya yeah, I would have to say that I am more about the person versus the activity. Um, I want to be with someone where I can relax. Again, I, I like how uh, someone else was saying, too, like, you could just be yourself. Like, there's a natural flow, and we're just vibing out. Um, so I think that it, it's more so, my attention is more so on the person. Are are they easy to speak to? Are our conversations just natural and flowy? And if I don't even want our conversation to end and like, no, I need another few hours. <laughs> like, don't go yet. I'm not ready to end yet. Then I, I'll know that that is, that's my guy. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, power. Uh, I mean, somebody who is, you know, who who we got a lot of stuff that we have in common, you know, somebody who I can talk to freely without hiding anything. Like, I mean, somebody who can give me, you know, time to express myself, like being me to her, you know. Awesome. And John. Uh, probably just uh, a, a stroll at the park or at the beach. You know, walking the boardwalk, uh, you know, grabbing uh, finger food while we're walking, holding hands and talking and, uh, you know, just uh, talking about topics and just uh, hopefully two parties are conversating, not just one. And just, uh, you know, uh, maybe uh, try an activity like um, searching for seashells or something on the beach, you know or metal detecting or some, something fun, you know? Awesome, awesome. What would you buy if you were given $1,000 right now? Again, I warned you it was random. <laughs> what would you buy if you were given $1,000 right now? And I would start with you, John. <laughs> oh, man, I would go down payment to my freaking uh, real estate uh, school I'm going to go to. So, uh see how that goes, you know, see, uh, see what's up, you know, with that. And hopefully, uh, with the, the school, you know, the, the, the exam and then, uh, the, you know, all that shit that, that comes with it. 
<laughs> awesome, awesome. Uh, power. Uh, I mean, I can go ahead and buy some gift for my parents, and the rest I can pay my insurance and stuff. Awesome, awesome. Uh, Latanya. I would definitely, I'm just uh, learning about investments. So I would definitely take half and just like throw into investments. Um, I would spend about 400 just towards my credit because I'm trying to get my credit uh, better. So I'm trying to pay down my all my credit cards. But I only have three. But the last hundred, I would just really invest into myself. Just taking a day if I want to go to the movies uh, I would spend money there <laughs> and just kind of things that I wouldn't normally do. So maybe I've always wanted to go to a spot and get like those like hot. I don't know if they're hot stones or what they are, um, but <laughs> I would want to try something different. I would do something new. Awesome. I love that. I have to do the credit card thing, too. So I hear you on that. <laughs> uh, Damon. <laughs> Um, I would e either invest some of it or take and you put some of it towards a trip or use the entire thing to go on a trip that I've always wanted to go to, uh, probably um, Europe. Awesome. Yep. Travel's a good one, too. Yep. <laughs> uh, Robert? So I got multitudes of things. For me, I would invest in on clothes, uh, jewelry, uh, herbs, some food, and uh, some other uh, massage treatment and some investment. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Uh, Charles? Easy. I'd find a date and we're going straight to Nobu. Anything you want. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Take the money and go on a trip, for sure. Probably Mexico. I, I'm, like, struggling to be consistent with learning Spanish. I think if I spent, like, a good month or something down there, it would really help some things sink in. So I'd probably do something like that. Awesome. Awesome. All right. So the next question up, or actually it's a statement. All right. So the statement up is describe your three best qualities. All right. Describe your three best qualities. And I will start with you, John. Describe your three best qualities. All right. I'm, uh, you know, I'm loving, I'm down to earth and uh, I'm caring. So yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, power. Uh, just simple like caring and loving and and hard working. Awesome. Uh, Latanya. Um, I would say that I pray well. I am compassionate and considerate. Awesome. Uh, Damon? I would say that I am, in, am friendly, loyal, and hardworking. Awesome. Uh, Robert? Hey, I actually got more than three, <laughs> but I'll just name three for now. Um, mine is, um, can I combine um, the elements or does it have to be three separate ones? You can do whatever you want. <laughs> so, Caring slash affectionate, that's one. Uh, even tempered, and then time, solid time management skills slash um, uh, solid communication line. Awesome, uh, Charles. Yeah, I'd say I'm generous, attentive, and humorous. Awesome. Hey, loving, affectionate, kind, honest. Awesome, uh, Sheree. I'd say introspective, dreamer, romantic. Awesome. All right. Awesome, everyone. So the next question up is, what are you passionate about? All right. What are you passionate about? And I would start with you, Sheree. What are you passionate about? Um. Well, I, I mentioned before I'm a school psychologist, so I love anything in the realm of psychology, mental health. Um, so that's really important. Um, I'm also passionate about creativity. So I really love to write. I love writing like short stories and just being creative in that regard. And um, I really am passionate about relationships, friendships, just connection with other people. So I'd say those. Awesome. Bruce? Uh, I'd say investing and Christianity. 
Awesome. Uh, Charles? Yeah, I, I really like to try new experiences and uh, I lean heavily into things that make me uncomfortable just to get that feeling of being uncomfortable. And so I kind of uh, just any any kind of, of living in the moment and trying new experiences is what I'm all about. Awesome. Uh, Robert? Yeah, I got some interesting passions. So my passion is uh, poetry, uh, swimming, uh, archery, um, com building is a uh, community. Um, I also like uh, what she said, psychology so slash sociology, and then uh, many other um, uh, passion. Awesome. Uh, Damon? Uh, of course, um, military history is a passion of mine, but also uh, relationships and my Christian faith as well, and family. Awesome. Uh, LaTanya? So I am passionate about my spirituality. I'm an educator. So all things education, I am passionate about. Um, so I've taught for a long time. Uh, I also like to learn new things. So I'm passionate about learning. I'm currently learning how to swim again. Um, because if you don't use it, you lose it. So I've, I've learned how to do a, a couple of strokes so far. Um, I'm also learning about uh, being back in the gym, learning about strength training. So I'm passionate about health and wellness. Um, just, you know, feeling well, doing well, and being well. Um, I, and I also am passionate about meaningful connections, definitely. Awesome. Power. I am passionate about photography because I am a photographer. So I, I, I like making stories, you know, creating some stories, you know, all the way by taking pictures and videos. Awesome. And John. All right. I'm passionate about like making connections, you know, talking to friends on phone and, uh, you know, wrestling, I like pro wrestling is on right now. And uh, I don't know, just a bunch of shit, you know, trying new hobbies and stuff like that. Awesome. All right. So the final question up, everyone, is going to be, how can you be contacted? All right. And I will start with you, John. How can you be contacted? Uh, well, it's pretty much, it says it right there. Vintage Views, SL, IG, and TikTok, the same name. So just uh, follow me or, or send me a message or whatever, you know, you could do. All right, John, sounds good. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. Uh, LaTanya, how can you be contacted? I am under LaTanya Shazer on Facebook and IG. Awesome. Sounds good, LaTanya. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. Uh, let's see, Damon. Uh, so I can be contacted through Facebook. I'm just listed as Damon Penner. Um, my Instagram is also listed on the bottom there. It's just at Damon, period, and in Penner, lowercase. Uh, awesome, Damon. Sounds good. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. Uh, Robert? Yeah, so it's for me, just two things. Uh, email, uh, just in case uh, I can be contacted through the social media. But social media, I have Facebook uh, listed as J J A Y uh, space L-E-E. -E. Awesome. Sounds good, Robert. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. Uh, Charles, how can you be contacted, Charles? Yeah, you can find me at Charles PD, uh, at Charles from PDX on Instagram or uh, at Captain underscore Cape Town on TikTok. Awesome. Sounds good. Thanks for coming out and have a good night. I'm on uh, hotmail.com. It's B H O E R G E R at hotmail.com awesome bruce sounds good thanks for coming out and have a good night uh sheree how can you be contacted um on instagram it's ray monty it's in my name right there i just added it so awesome sounds good sheree thanks for coming out and have a good night and then power i'm gonna go to you again power how can you yeah, be contacted yeah. i mean but they can go ahead with the email like e l i s e power gmail.com all right power all right thanks for coming out and have a good night
follow us and subscribe to our channel to join our next singles party.